episode, I want to talk to you about how to glue the Schumacher tire to the Schumacher rim. And we're going to talk about inserts, what happens when we modify the um, the tire, as well as the insert, um, as well as how to mount them up a little bit easier. You probably already know these things, but hey, I can show you. So I want to talk to you quickly about the front rims that are available to you. You'll find that on the market there are a a range out there there's been a few that have been variations of our stagger ribs um, and therefore there's been some slim wheels that have come into play so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the medium wheel. if you don't already have the slim wheel the slim wheel um, is perfect for the stagger whereas the medium isn't perfect for the stagger so you'd have to mount it wider on the inside what we always used to do before we had a wheel available we used to cut the wheel and we make it so it looks pretty neat it will do the job for the race and uh, we can get on with racing instead of worrying about how things look so that's me quickly cutting them is what we would normally do and we'd run our scissors around just make sure it's all good and there's nothing spiky or stupid looking about it so that would be that. Um, what you'll find is when you do mount it on the other one is this um, wheel is slightly larger in diameter so that fits the tire a bit more tighter. Um, it's bad English there. So basically you'll find that the um, stagger when it's mounted will be more rounded um, on this um, whereas on the normal our wheel it will be flatter um, mainly due to the fact that this one is slightly taller and narrower uh, when it's cut but it will do the job it will get you by and I'm sure you'll enjoy it so what I also want to talk to you about is when the tires come in and they're grey what you do is get a heat gun on them um, you, when you do the heat gunning process um, or, or hair, hair dryer, get the hair dryer on there, give it a blast and that will change it from grey to black um, and it won't take long and it will take it back to the original state. Basically when it's gone grey it's oxidised, that's what happens with some of the tyres. Some tyres come into bloom and they go a little bit white um, and they also react to the oxygen that's around there. Um, when you use them, even if you glue them up when they're grey, they're still going to work great because um, it's going to brush off the outside and you'll be back to the, the, the true nature of the uh, rubber. Um, whereas some rubbers don't do it because they're mainly oil based and stuff like that. Um, so give that um, a go and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, so the bits that we really want to talk about is mounting our tyres. So there's our tyre here. I don't mean to bash on the table. Um, and I'm just going to grab, I've got our front tyre here. This is actually a blue um, and we're going to pop that over here. I just grab one that I've got kicking around and that's quite difficult to get on. The reason I grab the blue is because it is difficult to get on. So what I normally do, and what you can do if you don't have the strongest of hands, you can run the blue round. Oh, this is a little bit difficult. And you can use the driver to manipulate the whole tire on. Just like when you see the big tires going on your road cars and everything. If you don't have a road car, it's either because you don't have a driving license, a car, or you're, you're little. You might be underage to drive. Um, so you might have seen it in the garage when your parents' uh, car was having it done. So the next step is to make sure that the tire is sitting on equally all round, just making sure that it's concentric to the rim. And uh, if it's not, you're going to get a wobbly tire, being a bit out of balance, not going to be fun to drive. So I work my way around, make sure it's all good. It's sitting in the, uh, the slots nicely. As you can see with my thumb, I'm just putting it back, dropping it back down. Yeah, that's good. Next step is to super glue it. This is our uh, Schumacher um, uh, distributed item from Core RC. Um, we've got a nib that goes over the top and make sure that's sat on there nicely. If it's sat on there nicely, it's not gonna fall off and you're not gonna have any trouble. Um, I'm now gonna pull back the rubber and with this, because it's not a driven wheel, you just have to put it on this little edge here and I put a little bit there and that drops in. And I'm gonna do that in about five spots as I work my way around. I'm just gonna drop it in again. Here we go. There's another bit. Another bit. Is this five? Yeah, I'm getting to five. I think we're good. So that's now in there. That's gonna be on there. Pretty good. Like, look how, oh, we got a little bit there. 
to be honest, these little bits aren't going to upset you too much on the track. Um, it's not going to come off. So that's now glued on there. I'm very happy with that. If I want it to drive faster, I can use Activator. Activator is a very useful tool. Um, it speeds things up, um, but don't put too much on because your um, super glue will go white if we run too much on. Let's say I'm going to put a load of super glue on here on the outside of this and I'm going to put way too much now and you're going to watch it go white and it's not so fun when this happens. If you have a little look now, hopefully the camera will pick this up. We're going to put far too much on and it should go white. There we go. It's going white. It burns a horrible and it's not so good. Let's get the camera get that. See how white that's gone? That's because you've used too much. If you put an appropriate amount on, so we're going to run some glue around here. Obviously your tire is still good to go. I've got some super glue there. And all we do is we give it a little spray. Okay, that's all you do. Just put a little one there. That should be enough to do the job. And that hasn't reacted, which is good. So we've got a little bit wet there. You just snuck out there. So again, I'll give it another little spray. Again, do it in a ventilated area. It's not good for you, but it shouldn't go white. All it's gonna do is have enough to react and here let it come to focus there it is and that one's come perfectly so make sure you don't go crazy on the activator because you will get it going white um, so that's that okay so you glued your tire you're happy with that you then flip it over make sure it's dry check it over and everything if you flip it over it's going to go over your fingers then you're going to have stuck fingers well you're going to stick your fingers together sticking fingers together isn't very fun um, we've all done it if you do normally do it don't it's not good for you so I'm just going to run a bit more glue on, run it round, make sure I get it in camera. You want to, you want to see me doing it. You want to see the action, right? Yeah, it comes around there and it's looking good. Right. So I'm pleased with that. I'm putting that to the side. Now we want to glue up um, the rear. If we want to glue up a silver, um, it's a bit more soft as a tire. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick a foam. So we have a Schumacher medium insert and we have the crag insert. Um, the crag inserts are very good for a bit more extra steering. Um, I find they kind of take the bumps a little bit better, whereas the medium insert is better for a low grip track, so lets the tyre sit flatter, gives you more forward drive. So they're your options really. We don't really play around with any of the harder or softer ones. We don't play with closed cell inserts. We just stick with these. Um, in this instance, for this tire, I'm going to use the crag insert. Um, and what you can also do is because it's going to be low grip, because I'm going to be doing it with a silver, I'm actually going to cut the inside edges to create a chamfer, which is an option that's going to make it a bit softer. So I fold it inside out now. I'm then going to get my scissors, going to run these along. Just being careful. Kind of like four or five mil. Yeah, about four mil um, each side we're cutting out of it. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to get the job done. Of course, if you're a superstar and stuff like that, I'm sure you'll do it perfectly, but I'm not. I'm just going to do what I need to get my racing done. Um, and so I cut along here. It's looking all right to me. You can normally put these in absolutely fine on like yellows, but I find that on a low grip circuit, giving the inside edges a trim is always good. Make sure when you're working on your tire, make sure that all your pins are there. Make sure there's nothing weird happening. Whatever brand of tire that you run, um, just make sure that it's good before you start trying to glue it up. Otherwise, you're gonna be a bit frustrated if it's not. Make sure it's the right compound. You might mix up in your box. If you have any trouble with the, our products, just give us a buzz. Let us know that you've had the wrong tire inside something. Um, things happen. Um, people make mistakes from time to time. So that's mounted inside there. I'm very happy with that. I've then got my wheel. Make sure it's clean. If you've acetoned your wheels, make sure there is no super glue along the um, edges on here. So if you do have super glue on there, Simply get a file, clean all your super glue off, make sure the old super glue is going to crack off and make your tire fall off during a run. Make sure that's good. This is a new wheel, so it hasn't got that. But I've also got a flash edge here anyway, so we can file that off if you really want to, just to make sure the tire sits nicely. And I'd run that round and make sure that the acetoned wheel has no old super glue on there. I see a lot of people have trouble just because of that. That's now done. We're happy and what we want to do is we want to pop our wheel on here and I'm going to rotate it round 
And normally I'd manipulate it with my hands, but what we'll do is as I've got it to that point, I'm gonna run my driver. I've got a three mil driver, nice and strong here. You can use various drivers, as long as you don't snap them. And you're gonna work it around now. And the tire is pretty much on there. Just make sure it's all good, give it a little working. We're gonna pop that there. I think fine. And that's looking good to me. It's silver, so you get kind of slightly mucky hands, and that's good. So what I want to do now is I'm gonna put a tie band around it, ready for when I glue it. I normally stick it against my belly, oh. just to support putting that band on. But that band's on now. And what I wanna do is I want to put the glue onto the inside edge here. So then it goes on the bit that I've just cleaned off um, and the outside edge. I could do the outside edge afterwards, but I'm gonna put a bit of glue there. With silvers, it glues very quickly. Um, so be careful you don't put too much on. Um, so I'm just pulling this up, I'm dropping it back down, go in there. You can put your tie band on afterwards, I'm feeling that the tie band will be better on afterwards. Um, so I'm going to pull it off because I'm thinking that's getting in the way now. Um, and then we just put a bit of glue on. You're going to learn your own ways of doing things. You just The main thing is that you glue things on without having any issues. So I've worked my, my way all the way around on this one now. And I'm going to put my band on, just to make sure it holds it in place. And that's all good. I'm going to run a bit of glue around the outside edge, because the rest of it's sealed up, just to make sure it's good. I'm not going to spray um, activator on, because if you spray activator on, and you don't really need to, I believe that the, it probably goes harder when you spray the activator on. So there's probably no need to do it unless you're in a rush. So that's now off. I'm going to leave that to dry and go have a play another day. The one last thing to talk about is when you trim the tire. If you get the tire um, and you trim off the outside and inside rows, um, especially for, let's say, um, like astro racing and stuff like that that you'd be doing on, in the dry, um, what you'll find is it will take away a little bit of grip for you, make it easier to drive if you're getting grip roll issues, just chop the outside and inside row off. Um, the other thing to talk about is on the cactus tire, um, you've got these ribs that sit on the outside. They're kind of like a stagger rib, but small, so when you go into a corner, your car can actually slide a little bit. Um, but under forward traction, I find that you get a bit more. Um, everyone's probably gonna disagree with me on that one. Fine, it doesn't matter. You're watching my video because you're interested in what I'm gonna say about it. Um, so what I find is I cut them off, and that allows me to have more rotation on power. Um, when you go into a corner, actually what you find is, what I find, is you get the opportunity that it might even flip a little bit more um, because it's riding now on the pin instead of the rib. Um, so yes, yeah, so you get more drive I find with the ribs on um, and with them off you'll get more side bite. Um, but sometimes on power you have more steering because of it. But it will probably be a, a thing that is talked about for many years, um, the tyres when you're cutting things off, what it actually does. So I'm pretty happy with what I've talked to you about. The one thing that I do want to mention is if you put an excessive amount of glue in, it could go inside on the foam. That then creates what is like a little stone. Um, and when you feel it, you'll be able to think, oh God, there's a, it's like I've got a lump in there. You can't really do much about it once you've done. Um, if you really wanted to, you could cut something open and doctor it out, but no, no, just, just leave it and learn by it. You've just put too much glue in. So there's less glue and take more time doing it. That's one of the key things. Spend more time doing this. Um, you've got options of, we do our thin glue. There are medium glues out there that you could use. Um, the medium glue um, will just get offer you more control, but it won't drop into those areas as easy. So what you could do is mix a bit of thin and the medium together and get the consistency that you want. Anyway, I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers, all the people that have messaged me with some good feedback. Um, no one's really been nasty and criticised me. Um, they've all been pretty good so far. Um, just offer me um, any suggestions of what you'd like to see. Um, if anything you want to know about, if you're wondering, I've been given loads of suggestions, I've been writing them down. Please keep giving me suggestions, I'll drop them all together, I can pop them on a video for you. Um, any questions you want me to answer, like, uh, like I can mention you and obviously talk about that thing. 
um, please fire away on those messages and I'll answer what I can. Um, I'm generally quite busy um, just doing what I do as a job and doing this as well as my impersonal life. Um, and so if I don't always answer your messages, it doesn't mean that I've ignored you. I've either, either seen it, haven't got back to it as we all do. Um, oh, I've just forgotten about it and I meant to reply. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done it if you don't if you can't subscribe become a youtuber um, sign up um, then subscribe because you're going to be able to click on the bell you'll be able to see remind like things of when my videos have come up and you won't miss any of the uh, great stuff that you're going to be watching if you're watching this part of the video it means you've watched most of it I uh, see the analytics of it and um, it will say the amount of minutes people have watched on average of it um, so it, it's really good to see when that number is a lot higher um, so yeah no, thank you for watching um, speak to you soon see you all at the track and um, have a good weekend Bye.